Christians have been living in Turkey ever since the time of Christ. And yet now in these current times, there's an increasing number of Christians who are being forced to leave. My name is David Bile, and I am a, an evangelist who loves telling people about Jesus, especially Turkish speakers. It's so exciting what we've experienced in Jesus that it's something I don't want to just whisper, I want to shout this to people. We felt God was calling us to very openly and publicly uh, proclaim the good news of Jesus. So when we went out in the streets and started preaching, we would always get crowds of people who would stop and listen. The government had been trying to get rid of us for many years. We lived in Turkey for 19 years. All the rest of our kids, we have five kids. Uh, four of them were born either in Turkey or during our time in Turkey. So they, Turkey is home for them. Now I'm, I'm banned from entering the country. I mean, I was taken to police stations dozens of times uh, through the years in Turkey. Uh, I was held overnight uh, in Turkey, I think about four or five times, and for multiple days. When I had to leave Turkey in 2018, they made it sound like I could just come back uh, as soon as I left the country. So uh, it was a, a, a big blow to arrive in the airport in Istanbul, and when the policeman you know, looked at, across the desk from me and said, you have a permanent entry ban. I thought, oh, so this is it. And it was hard because I knew I hadn't seen my family for a month and they all were just, just a couple of hundred meters away on the other side of the door waiting for me and uh, it wasn't gonna happen. We know for a fact that there are dozens and dozens of other Christians and Christian workers uh, in Turkey who have faced a similar fate as ours. David's case is about the freedom to express one's faith and to share it in the public square. David's missionary work is legal under both the European Convention on Human Rights and Turkish national law. It is a serious violation to use immigration laws as a pretext to interfere with a person's fundamental right to manifest their religious beliefs. The authorities made several attempts to try and stop us from spreading the gospel. Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. But how can we do that if people are always shutting the borders on us? Christians are the most persecuted religious group in the world. Yet that issue receives such limited attention from the international community. And so one of the reasons that we are taking David's case to the European Court of Human Rights is to bring about systematic change. Because David's not alone. Since 2019, more than 60 other foreign nationals have been forced to leave Turkey in similar circumstances. And our hope is that the court will hand down a judgment that upholds not just David's rights, but the rights of everyone to live in accordance with what they believe and to share those beliefs with others. There certainly are people in the government who may not like us being in Turkey, but we know for sure there's a lot of people who would love to have us there. We hope that someday God will open the doors again so that we can go back to Turkey and keep spreading this amazing news about Jesus.